When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover one of the past HC exam questions with the indicator chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. And once you pause the video, attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So the question is, a natural indicator was made by heating yellow flowers with water. The results, the resulting yellow solution was tested with a range of substances. The results are recorded below. Substances, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, 0.1 molar ammonia, lemon juice, oven cleaner, and pure water. The color, red, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow. Assess the usefulness of the yellow solution as an acid-base indicator. That's sort of three marks. All right, so pause the video now, and when you're ready, just attempt the question, and then press play once you've attempted the question. Welcome back. All right, so for this kind of question, the first thing you should do is figure out, okay, that you need to know the question. So natural indicator is made by heating yellow flour. So we have made a natural indicator. That was one of the parts of that question. And then the resulting yellow solution, which was so our initial, our initial indicator was yellow. And we tested a range of substances. So the first part, we need to know these different substances, what kind of pH range they would usually have. So for the, and this is from one, a previous dot point about uh, household, the common household substances. So hydrochloric acid would usually be a very strong acid. So very strong acid. And it would tends to have a pH around 0 to 1. We know ammonia is a relatively, relatively strong base. So base, this ammonia solution would have a pH of around about 11 to 12. And it's a moderately strong base, strong base, not the strongest, but still pretty okay. Lemon juice would have a pH of around about 2 to 3. Oven cleaner tends to have a pH of around about 12 to 13. And these are just rough estimate. So you should know which one, you know, if it's a weaker acid or stronger acid. And the pure water, that's obviously neutral, so it has a pH around about 7. That's the first thing you should have done. You should figure out what kind of pH range these would be. So would they be classified as strong acid or weak acid or strong base? And then you should have looked at the color changes and analyzed the color changes. So for yellow, we had three things turn yellow. We, turned, we had the ammonia. So ammonia, which was at pH of a roughly 11 to 12, that turned yellow. We also had the oven cleaner turn yellow, and that was at pH of about, about 12 to 13, that turned yellow as well. And the pure water also turned yellow. So all of these three turned yellow. And the pH of 7, that's the pure water, also turned yellow. So that's the first part. So the other one was the fact that these Acids turn different colors, so they're very strong acid. So pH around zero to one, pH around zero to one, that turned red. Whereas lemon juice, which has a pH of around about two to three, it's a weaker acid, turned orange. Right, so that's all the facts we've gotten from that table. Now the actual question says assess. So assess means we need to look at it and at the end you know, say, is it really useful to uh, be used, in this case, use, assess the usefulness of the yellow solution as an indi acid base indicator. You have to figure out is it useful to be able to distinguish between acids and bases. Now the first one is the first one is what we're going to analyze first and we'll be talking about that. So is it really useful to distinguish between bases? And this would actually suggest it probably wouldn't be because pH of 7 is neutral pH of 11 to 12 is a moderate base, and this is a, more of a stronger base, and they all turn the same color. So we, if, if something is yellow, we can't, we don't know if it's going to have a pH of, of 7 or a pH of 13. So we can't distinguish between neutral substances and basic substances. We're using this indicator. So what I wrote is pure water, oven cleaner, and 0.1 molar ammonia, which were all these three that I mentioned earlier. 
all turn the indicator yellow. So yellow. This uh, the indicator cannot be used to distinguish between a neutral substance and a base. So we can't use it to figure out if something is neutral or base because it all turn it yellow. Or a weak base and strong base because um, pH of 11, 12 is yellow and then pH of 12 to 13 or 14 was also yellow. So basically anything which was a moderately strong base were all yellow. So that's one part of the usefulness. It wasn't useful when it comes to distinguish, distinguishing between um, between water, so of pH of 7 and a stronger base of 11, 12, 13, 14. And the second part was with these acids. So when it comes to these acids, you should have looked at a very strong acid, so the hydrochloric acid turned red, whereas a moderately strong acid, such as lemon juice, turned a different color. It turned orange. So we can actually use it to distinguish between a strong and a weak acid or a weaker acid. That's going to be useful to that. And it will also let us distinguish between an acid and something which is neutral or basic. So what I wrote is the indicator can however be used to distinguish between a strong acid because it turns red from a weak acid because it turns orange and acids from neutral, sub neutral and basic substances. So we can know if it's an acid or if it's neutral or basic. So if it's an acid, so that's the one thing we can distinguish or if it's neutral and a basic. We can't distinguish between neutral and basic but we, we can distinguish if it's an either an acid or a neutral and basic substance. And now if you mentioned all these you get three marks because you get one mark for, for figuring out that it's not useful to distinguish between bases and neutral substances. That's your first mark. You get another mark for, for distinguishing that it's actually useful to distinguish between weak and strong acids because a strong acid turns red and a weak acid turns orange. And you also get a point for make, ma mentioning that you can distinguish acids from neutral and basic substances. That's not a mark. So that's three out of three for this kind of question. And where do these questions come from? They come from these two dot points. Uh, classify common substances as acidic, basic, or neutral. So this one gave us a question of, you know, they just gave us, you know, lemon juice, oven clean, and pure water. They didn't give us the pHs because they assumed you know them because they have a dot point that says you need to know what kind of pHs they have. So that was the first one. And the part of you know, the question came from this one. Solve problems by applying information about the color changes of indicators to classify some household substances as acidic, neutral, or basic. This was a question on this kind of topic, and that came from that solve problems chapter uh, slip stop point. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.